Hi guys, I've had a few people ask me where I actually install my anti-interference board for the H3 3D gimbal. Now there are multiple places you can actually put this, but I'm going to show you the two that I commonly use. Now the first place I'm going to show you is actually on the exterior of the Phantom shell. I'm not a particular fan of this, because not only is it scruffy, but should you have a crash or something, there's potential for some damage to the board. As you can see, on the bottom of the Phantom, there is plenty of room for your anti-interference board and the video transmitter. I usually only place it on the outside of the craft if it's strictly necessary. In this instance, the Phantom actually had a DJI ground station and IOSD Mini, as well as the CAN bus installed inside, so this didn't leave a lot of room. When I actually install it inside the Phantom, there are two locations you can actually use. One is slightly easier to do than the other. The easiest location to use is this here, next to the power connection. The other location is on the opposite side of the board, but this means removing the Zemuse cable and having to thread it back up through the holes which can be tricky. So here's the simplest location. As you can see the wires slightly foul the interference board, so all you have to do is push down on them gently. Now the interference board will fit in here very nice. The first step is to remove the two Phillips screws either side. You can then place the interference board down on the main board, or like I've done here, use a bit of the double sided tape that is supplied to act as vibration dampening. Take note of the orientation of the anti-interference board. Now replace the two screws so it's held in firmly. Now pull out the grey Zemuse cable. And in its place, Use the cable that came with the anti-interference board and plug that in. The port is clearly labelled Zemuse and the cable can only go in one way. Now take the other end of that cable and plug it into the anti-interference board. Again this can only go in one way. Now thread the original Zemuse cable underneath the other wires to the other side of the anti-interference board. The reason that I install the anti-interference board on this side of the Phantom is because this grey cable from the Zemuse is very hard to thread up through the hole at the bottom of the leg and it is all too easy to damage it. As you can see, there's still plenty of length to reach to the Zemuse gimbal. And in case you're wondering, there is still room inside for you to place the IOSD Mini and CAN bus cable for a clean looking install. There are plenty of other tutorials on YouTube to show you how to install it on the other side, but as I said, threading that grey Zemuse cable through the hole can be a little bit tricky and may cause damage. So that's all for now from me guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll be back again soon.